I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is for you, the bad news is for us. Wait, what? We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. I have hung up my apron. You know the seasonings that I was making and selling to y'all? I had five different ones. I'm not going to be making them anymore. Found out that materials, the shipping containers, the labels, the cost for shipping has just skyrocketed to a point that it's not profitable for me anymore in order to keep the price reasonable for you guys. So I've decided to hang up my apron. But I did make one last batch of everything and I am putting them on sale. Big time, because once they're gone, they're gone. I have dropped the price from $8.50 each to $5.50 each. And the shipping, I will only be charging you what my actual costs are for shipping. Not even for the gas to get to the post office. So I want to go ahead and get rid of what I have. You'll be able to see them on my website. And you will be able to see how you need to order. And then you can also follow along to see when I sold out of each one. All of these are, are wild badass seasonings. And this one just happens to be our Barnyard Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Rub. And there's eight ounces in here. All of them are heat sealed. They're all in these food containers. So they have ingredients in the front. There's a QR code on the back. So if you take your phone and check that code out, it'll take you right to the website where there are recipes on how to use the seasonings. This one, of course, you can put on pork ribs, chicken, beef, but it's also good on popcorn, bacon, potato macaroni salad, and it's really good on scrambled eggs, too. Easy Luigi's Soup Seasoning. This makes three batches of soup, and it does taste just like lasagna. And there is a stovetop met method and an instant pot method on the website. It's also good to add to spaghetti, or pizza, sloppy joes, it's uh, pretty versatile, it's really good. This is Big Day's Steak Seasoning. Good on steak, pork, chicken, ribs, but it's also good like on hamburgers, french fries, tater tots, corn, green beans, and other vegetables. The Anita Fajita Seasoning, we really like this one. It has so much flavor to it. Of course, it's great to put on chicken, beef, and on the vegetables you're going to use in a fajita, but it's good on ground beef. It's also good on chicken wings. And, of course, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, whatever you may be making. And then um, you can also mix this with ketchup, which will then give you a spicy ketchup that you can put on your hamburgers or hot dogs. Last but not least is Martha Stufart Chili Seasoning. This actually won an award at a chili cook-off that I did. There's a stovetop recipe and an Instant Pot recipe for this on the website. And it's also really good on corn on the cob. And then ground beef and ketchup for Coney Dog. So you can make a Coney sauce out of this too. And it's really good on baked beans. So you guys, $5.50 plus my cost for shipping. Christmas is coming up. Great gift for family and friends. And please check out our website and order soon because when they're gone, they're gone. The link to our website is in the description below. Delicious. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.